everybody, this is Diddy Green and I am coming back to share a video about the difference between the root and the flower spike in a Phalaenopsis. I know quite a few people, including myself, are wondering every now and then when something green starts growing from their plants and they're wondering, is it a flower spike? or are there only roots? I have quite a few Phalaenopsis that are in spike right now. It is end of October in the Netherlands. They had a little bit of a colder time during the night and that's what triggered the blooming. I think more than 60% out of all my fowls, they have beginning flower spikes. But because with this one, it's so obvious the difference between a new root and a new flower spike i thought i will share it with you so here as you can see these two growth are roots and it's obvious they're pointing towards the media they're they try to go down in the media and you see the tip of the root it's pointier fresh green color wise they're kind of the same but up here that's the flower spike and you can see the difference in shape very clearly. The flower spike is kind of pointy. It looks the same at the tip of the flower spike where the buds are forming. So that's, that's a good clue to keep in mind. Sometimes the roots might go upwards as well if they go towards the light. So that's not always an indication the direction they're growing. But in this case, it's very clear. The roots are growing towards the media, the flower spike will grow upwards towards normally a light source. And this is another example of proper growth, if you want to call it. The flower spike comes from the bottom of the leaf and the roots are growing from the, the stem of the plant. As you can see, these two root, root tips are kind of going upwards but I think it's very clear the difference between the two flower spike on the left root on the right and just because the plants love to prove us wrong I have one here that is growing the flower spike and the root from the same spot I'm not even sure where the flower spike comes from is it the mother plant or the KK. Now, that's the spike, slightly pointier, here you can see better. So this here is the spike, and the other one, it's the root, and they come exactly from the same spot. There's no lift there, remember what I said before, they come from a leaf. So like I said, they just love to prove us wrong try to understand if it's it's almost in between the mother plant and the keiki and they're both growing roots but I have a flower spike as well cool now with this phalaenopsis it's a bit more confusing because both the root and the flower spike are pointing upwards after a, a few years of growing these plants, you kind of start to recognize, oh yeah, that's a root, oh, that's a flower spike. It's also important where they're growing from. You see, the roots tend to grow from the bottom, bottom part of the plant, whereas the flower spikes, they're always coming from between the leaves. You will never see a flower spike here. They're coming usually from the middle part of the leaf, like there. You can see here the previous ones, that one there, the root, the, sorry, the leaf, it's not there anymore, but it was a leaf here, and that's the other one, that's my cue, oh I know, that's a flower spike, it comes from the right spot. And of course, here it is, another exception from the rule, I have only seen this with the Phalaenopsis uh, Leodora, sweet memory. She is not growing the flower spikes from in between the leaf, but straight from the stem. You can see here there are two knots. One of them is the flower spike, the smaller one, the pointier one. And the other one, it's the root. They almost grow from 
exactly the same spot. Now with this Phalaenopsis, the flower spike grows so slow. I mean, I see this knob now for a few weeks and that's it, it's not growing. The root might actually grow faster than the flower. Here is another example of the profile of the two. You see the, the root on the left side, it's pointier and quite smooth. And on the other side, it's the flower spike. It looks totally different. I'm trying to zoom in properly so you can see the difference. So, root, and that's the flower spike. I would like to share another unusual phalaenopsis I have. The flowers are white, quite small. And the flower spike uh, gets quite branchier, so when it's in bloom, it looks really beautiful. But this is a case of Phalaenopsis that bloomed from the middle of the stem, all the way from the top where a new leaf should grow. Terminal spikes, as you call it. And as you can see, it bloomed already three times from the top part of the plant. When I bought it, it was the first flower, the one on the right. Then it bloomed two more times for me. As you can see, a while ago, the flowers came from the side, as they normally should grow. Normally should grow. But then she decided, okay, no more leaves. I'm gonna throw some terminal spikes. I'm you. I am really curious what will happen with the mother plant. In the meantime, she grew a keiki, and now I've just noticed that the keiki. It's throwing a flower spike right over there. It's very thin and probably a leaf was there but it already fell so it's on the side. So I am really curious what will happen to the mother plant. Probably all her energy is exhausted. She threw through three terminal spikes and probably that's it for it. And now all the energy goes into the little one, the baby which is blooming now. And one last example of flower spike versus new root. Down there, they almost grow from the same spot, but the flower spike comes from in between the leaf and the root from the middle of the stem.